this video is on normal distribution so in today's video we are going to solve a problem the most important problem see here in a normal distribution 7% of the items are under 35 and 89% are under 63 and determine the mean and the variance of the distribution see it's very simple 7% of the items are under 35 so under 35 means we have to take the area to the left of the ordinate so if it's over 35 we have to take on the right side to the ordinate and 89% are under 63 so 89% are under 63 means we have to take the value towards the left side and we have to again determine the mean value and the variance variance of the distribution see here in this if the percentage is given so we have to understand that the probability is given and we have to find out the other variables that is mean and the variance so mean is nothing but mu and the variance is nothing but sigma square whereas standard deviation is equal to only sigma so let's get started to solve this so let mu be the mean and sigma be the standard deviation so here from the question it is given that seven percent of the items are under 35 seven percent of the items are under 35 so which means that under 35 means that what is given here that is probability of x less than 35 less than 35 is 7 percent and again it is given that 89 percent of the items are under 63 see here 89 percent are under 63 that is probability of x less than 63 is equal to 89 percent see here if i want probability of x greater than 63 so we know that the total probability is always equal to 1 so we can write this as 1 minus probability of x less than 63 so the probability of x greater than 63 is equal to 1 minus what is x less than 63 that is 89 percent so 1 minus 89 percent that is x greater than 63 is equal to 1 minus 89 by 100. That is probability of x greater than 63 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.89. So which is equal to probability of x greater than 63 value is equal to this value is 0 0.11. So here probability of x less than 35 is equal to 7 by 100. Here, probability of x less than 35 is equal to 0. Point, this is 0 0.07. The value here is 0 0.07. So, we got both the values. That is, the probability of x less than 35 is uh, 0 0.07. And the probability of x... See here, the probability of uh, x greater than, greater than 63 is 0. 1, 1. So now we have to plot this in the diagram as this is very very important figure. So I am going to show it in the figure. So here it is the normal distribution curve. See here. So this is actually the curve. So see here this is plus infinity and minus infinity as usual. The value here x is equal to mu and see what is given in the question. So it is given in the question that the items are under 35. Under 35 means left of the ordinate under 35 are 7%. So what is given here? 7% is given. That is 7 by 100. That is 0 0.07. And the next one, see here. The items which are under 63. So what is under 63? So if it is x greater than 63, we have to take over 63. It is towards the right side of the. If it's greater than 63, it's right side towards the ordinate. So this is 0 0.11. So this is 0 0.11. That is 11%. So x is equal to 63. So it is also given that. 
63 percent so 89 percent are under 63 i have changed it into x greater than 63 and it is 11 percent as you know that half the total probability is always equal to one see here as i said you earlier that it, that minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx the total probability is always equal to one so which means that so this is 0 0.5 and see from here it is 0 0.5 see here this is 0 0.5 half of the curve is 0 0.5 and half of the curve is 0 0.5 so which means that so this will be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.11 so this will be 0 0.39 see here 0 0.5 minus what is this 0 0.07 the value here is 0 0.43 see got it so this is the area which is greater than 63 so this is the area which is under 35 is 7 percent 7 percent so in between if i calculate this one the area will be 0 0.43 and 0 0.39 so if i uh, represent in terms of z this is z is equal to 0 so this is z is equal to z1 and this is z is equal to z2 so, this will be z is equal to z2, clear? So, if you understand this one, then the question will be very, very simple. So, see here, see here. So, this region will be 0 0.39 and this region is 0 0.43. And see, let's get started to find out the mean and the variance. First of all, when x is equal to, see here, when the value x is equal to 35, as you know that z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So, if I substitute x value as 35, that is 35 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus z1. Say, why? Because z1 is on the left of the ordinate. Left side is a negative part. So, I am taking it as minus z1. So, this is our first equation that is 35. 35 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus z1. This is equation number 1. See here, when x is equal to 63, see here, when the x value is equal to 63, z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So, z is equal to, if I substitute 63 minus mu by sigma, so it will be the value z2. Say, so this is also say. So, we got the two equations that is 63. See here, 63 minus mu by sigma is equal to z2. So, this is equation number 2. See, from the figure, so we have a figure here. From the figure, again, we can take, see here. From the figure, see, what I am going to take is, see, this is the figure. And in this figure, what is the probability or the area from z to z1? So, z to z2. So, this is z and this is z2. So, what is the area? Area, this is 0 0.39. According to the figure, we have taken 0 0.11 from 0 0.5. So, we got this value as 0 0.39. 0 0.39 implies we need the value of z2 so z2 from the table we'll get so we are using the table to find out the value of z2 see how we'll find out the value of z2 see 0 0.39 so the nearest value of 0 0.39 from the table here is so the area under the normal standard normal curve is so 0 0.39 is this one 0 0.39 the value here is 1.2 see here 1.2 under 3 so i can write it as 1.23 see here 0 0.39 so 0 0.3925 is also there but the nearest difference between 0 0.3907 and 0 0.3925 so there is a difference that is 0 0.007 and 0 0.0025 what is the minimum value this is the minimum value so we have to take this value and corresponding value here is 1.23 Therefore, we got the value of uh, Z2 as 1.23.
so keep it as it is and the next one from the figure see here from the figure we have the probability of 0 less than z less than z1 see here the distance from z2 z, this is z and this is z1 so the distance between z to z1 or z1 to z1 is the same so after taking 7 percent from half of the bell curve that is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.07 is 0 0.43 so the distance from z to z dash z1 is so this is z and this is z1 the area between this one is 0 0.43 i'm equating to 0 0.43 Four, three. So, I got the probability and what is the value of Z1 from the table. See here, from the table, the Z1 value will be from using the table. I will show you 1, 0 0.43. See here, 0 0.43 value is. See, 0 0.43 value is here, 0 0.4306. And we have another value related to 0 0.4319. So, the nearest value to 0 0.4300 is 0 0.4306. So, the value here is 1.4. It is under 8. So, we can write it as 1.48. Therefore, we got the Z value as 1.48. 1.48. So, this is equation number 3. This is the value 3 and this is value 4. After substituting Z1 and Z2 in equation 1 and 2. So, I will be getting two equations. So, we need mean mu and uh, standard deviation sigma or variance sigma square. So, we need two equations for finding the two variables. Therefore, if I substitute, substitute 3 and 4 in equation 1 and 2. Substitute substitute 3 and 4 values in equation in equation 1 and equation 2 so we'll be getting we'll be getting the values that is what is equation 1 here so equation 1 is nothing but 35 so this is 35 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus what is z1 from the table z1 is nothing but 1.48 so this is 1.48 in place of z1 so this is equation number one according to equation number one and according to equation number two so what is our z2 value that is 1.23 if i substitute here that is 63 minus mu by 63 minus mu by sigma is equal to minus mu by sigma is equal to the value here is 1.23 1.23 on solving this equations we'll be getting the mu value and the sigma value see here so if i cross multiply this equation so this will be 35 minus mu is equal to minus 1.48 into sigma so, if I multiply with sigma, this is 63 minus mu is equal to, this is 1.23 into sigma. So, if I add these two equations or if I subs, okay, if I subtract these two equations, see what happens? Subtraction, if there is plus, minus, this is plus and again this is minus. So, I can easily cancel these two. So, after cancelling this plus mu and minus mu, see what happens here. This is minus 63 minus 63 plus 35. The value here is minus 28. This is minus 28 is equal to minus 1.48 plus this is 1.23. The value here is 2.71 into sigma. So now what will be the sigma value? Sigma is equal to, if I cancel minus on both sides, this will be 28 by 2.71. And see here, this is 28 divided by 2.71. The value here is 10.33 and so on. So this is the value here. The sigma value here is 10.332. So, 3, 3, 2. And see here, if I substitute the value of sigma in any another equation, that is equation 2. So, this equation 2. 
so if i substitute the value substitute the value of sigma the value of uh, sigma in equation 2 so what is that equation see here so this is mu minus 63 minus mu is equal to 1.23 into sigma so this is the second equation that is 63 minus mu is equal to 1.23 into what is our sigma value that is 10.332 i want the mu value so mu is equal to 63 minus 1.23 into this is 10.332 so mu value is equal to see here let me show you this one that is 63 minus 1.23 into this is 10.332 the value here is 50 point so this is a 50.29164 and approximately the mu value is equal to 50.3 so this is our mu value and we got the sigma value here as so here the sigma value is equal to 10.332 this is 10.332 so we want the variance so this is the variance this is the standard deviation and this value is the mean so this will be sigma square value will be 106.75 so this is how we have to find out and thank you so much for watching and staying till till the end and uh, this is how we have to uh, move on with these steps and see here First of all, what is given? So, we have to assume mu as mean and real sigma as standard deviation. 7% of the items are under 35. So, this is x less than 35 and this is x less than 63 is given. So, I made it x greater than 63 as a 0 0.11. So, this is 0 0.11 and this is 0 0.7. Rest values are uh, got after subtracting from 0 0.5. That is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.43 and 0 0.5 minus 0 0.11 is 0 0.39. So, we need the value of mu as well as sigma. Therefore, after substituting, see here, if x is equal to 35, we got the value of uh, so, we need the value of Z1. Therefore, that is equation 1. If I put X is equal to 63, X is equal to 63 in this equation. So, this is equation number 2 from the figure. So, the distance, the area between Z and Z2 is 0 0.39. 0 0.39, therefore, Z2 will be from the table 1.23. And next, the area between Z and Z1 is 0 0.43. And therefore, Z1 from the table is this one. After substituting in the... 1 and 2 equations and solving or subtracting. So, I got the standard deviation value as 10.332 and after that, if I substitute the sigma value in equation number 2, I got the mean and later standard deviation and variance. So, thank you so much.